You debuted in the major leagues in 1997. You played 16 games that year. We're going back to your, your roots. All right. We got packs from 97. 97. Ooh, I like this. Could be some value in here. Yes. Now. These were hard to get, I must add. I found them, though. eBay. I like this game. This is a fun game. I'm nostalgic like this, too. Oh, right out of the gate, I got an interesting one. All right, let me hear it. Who is Karim Garcia? <laughs> right? I like that. I like that. That's very good. I have a pitcher who signed a mega free agent contract. Maybe it didn't work out exactly as he had hoped, but it was a very good pitcher, Mike Hampton. Ooh, he was really good. So I faced him a ton when he was with the Astros like that. Quite a sinker yeah. and a great athlete on the mound, good hitter, could run. Do you was... remember how you did? <clears throat> Just mediocre. You know what I started doing? When he'd get you 2-0, I decided you gotta take because he just throws a sinker down the bottom zone. It ends up a ball, and he he, he get people beating that And that's that a hard ball. thing to do as a hitter, right? Because yeah. you're loading up, you're thinking this is a hitter's count. Yeah. I can do some damage here. I got uh, Danny Graves. Oh, nice. So my first two guys, Kareem Garcia, my teammate with the Yankees, Danny Graves, my long teammate, longtime teammate with the Reds. He was our closer a lot of those years, and a really good buddy. So you want to win this pack too? I, I need you to want to have those guys. Yeah. Ooh. What do you got now? I, you, you... This guy, uh... Fake headline, or is this a... No, recent Hall of Famer. I got the first Hall of Famer of the pack. Recent Hall of Famer. Well, can you narrow it down a little more? His son's in the news quite a bit now, too. This is terrible that I'm not getting this right. Oh, uh, Vlad. Vladdy. <clears throat> That's a good one. Expo version. How about this? How about for some symmetry? I will see your Expo's outfielder with another... Moises is Alou. Moises. Now here's a guy can, who can we say fell underrated? off the Hall of Fame ballot too quickly too because he didn't get the five percent. But he was such he had a great player. career. He was such a man. He would he used to get up there and he, I used to love how he'd walk, he'd go like that, he'd throw his bat away, take off his shin pad and throw it away and kind of run to first base. I love Moises Salou. He's you, good. You know, I knew I know we know these about these <clears throat> two guys too, but you know what stands out for me? No no batting gloves. Either one. No. Neither one of them were batting gloves. Vladdy, I used to tease Vladdy. I'd walk up to him at the cage because he was just had this build that was just this athlete, right? I walk out, I said, Vladdy, when you go to the when you go to the store and you have to pay for something. You, you reach into your back pocket like this, don't you? <laughs> Those long legs, high butt, just boom. He was. He what did was, he say? Did he, did he, he laugh? Laughed. Yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> so he, we had a game in 1999. So with the Reds, we had a great team. We won 96 games that year. And Vladdy was in the middle of a hitting, game, hitting streak. And I think for his 30th game, Scott Williamson, our one of our great relievers, who was the rookie of the year, came in, faced Vladdy. Might have been extra innings, might have been ninth inning in, in Montreal. And his hitting streak was on the line. And he hit one into the darkness out in left center in, in it was an Olympic Stadium. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, heads up, it may, it may land here at some point <laughs> to extend his hitting streak and, and walk us off. Wow. I got the shooter, Rob Beck. Oh yeah. So I got I'm building a nice pen here you with are. Danny Graves and Rod Beck. Jose Viscaino. Jose heck of a golfer. Is he? Yeah. Good peeps, good player. Alright, Juan Guzman. Another another former teammate of mine. So in that ninety nine season, we traded for Juan Guzman and he really pitched well for us in our rotation. Okay. Yeah. I remember him. Mostly with the Blue Jays, though. Yeah, he was great with the yep. Blue Jays. Terrific. Great pitcher. Remember Jeff Montgomery? Heck yeah, Monty. <clears throat> he, was, he was the closer yep. for my dad's Royals. Yes. Yeah. And and now one of their broadcasters. Good pitcher, I remember him. Yeah, really good pitcher. We got some, we got some, we got some back-end peeps here. Uh, Darren Lewis, we got another announcer. Really good defensive center fielder. That's awesome. Yeah. Pay I have low, pay Jeff low. Reed, catcher. Uh huh. I have Ron Valone, another teammate on that '99 Reds team. Big rig. 
Here's my, here's my Ron Valone story. When he pitched for the Yankees, I lived in the same town as him. Really? I used to go watch my nephew play baseball, my nephew Kyle, and his son Ron was on the same team. on there. This, oh, that's Brewers. Yeah, he's with the Brewers. Yeah, he came over and had a really good year for us in Cincinnati in 99. You called him Big Rig? That was his Big Rig. Yeah, Big Rig. Great teammate. Uh, I got another Hoffer. Another Trevor Hoffman? No. Hall of Famer. Jeff Bagwell. Oof. You're Bagpipes. Gonna, you're, in, you're in good shape with this. Huh? This, this pack, too. You got a good I starter. I got a couple back end guys. I got some. Oh, man. Look, at my, look at my middle of the order. Yeah, you're, you're Vladdy, Bags, and Moise. Sorry about it. Who, who you got? Uh, Todd Stottlemyre. Who you got here? That was Dustin Hermanson. Oh. Todd, you want to hear my Todd Stottlemyre story? Yes. He was on the Arizona Diamondbacks in 2001. Yep. He is the player who told his dad, Mel, after the World Series, that the Diamondbacks knew Andy Pettit was tipping in oh. game six. And the Diamondbacks won that game 15 to 2 or something like that. So once the Diamondbacks had won the World Series, I guess he figured the He could let him know. He could let his dad know. And then Mel told Andy. I talked to Andy about that a year ago, which is how many years since then? More than 16, 17 years. He's still distraught. Andy still blames himself for not knowing that he was tipping his pitches and wow. The Diamondbacks are loading up. Oh man. Todd was a good pitcher. Yes. And Mel was a great man. Mel, a great, great coach. We lost him in 2019, but a great coach and a great man as well. Yep, my, my pitching coach here with the Yankees when I was here as a player. Great yep. dude. Um, I got one more to finish off my team. Another good hitter and broadcaster, Eric Karros. So you ended up with three broadcasters in your pack. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. And you had Lou Gehrig and Ted Williams in your first pack. I wish I could say that I was weighting these packs in my favor, but I did not. Yeah. You're, you're a good host. So you're gonna win those, but guess what? I also, I also brought you a gift. You a got? guy who, four all-star teams, seven gold gloves, more than 1,800 hits in his career. You ever heard of that guy? Oh yeah, the <laughs> Bob Boone rookie card. Those sweet sideburns. Mike Ivey. Yes. Pretty good player, right? Yes. Very cool. Thank you. You've probably seen that before. Right? I'm sure you have. have. Yes. But it's been a while. Yeah. That was yeah. another uh, eBay. They, they have a, some Bob Boons floating around there on eBay. On eBay? Yes. Big money for this one, huh? Yeah. Big money. Surprise. I knew you'd appreciate it. I knew you'd like that. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. Thanks for opening the cards. And thanks for taking my cards. Yeah. I appreciate it. Right. Uh, my, my kids and I will, will enjoy these. All right.